Delve into the haunting tale of Wilfred, a man tormented by his own dark secrets and the eerie whispers of the past. Stay with us to uncover how a single decision spirals into a life filled with guilt, ghosts, and an inescapable quest for redemption. Starting the story 1920. It's the year 1930. A man named Wilfred is shown in a hotel room. He looks like, not completely normal. He is trying to hear something from the hotel walls, after which he starts writing something. It seems that he has some guilt in his heart, and he wants to write it. The story goes into flashback from here. Eight years ago, Wilfred used to live with his wife and son. Wilfred is a farmer, and everything is going well in his life. Because he has his own 80 acres of land, and his wife's father has given her 100 acres of land. Wilfred wants to make his son a farmer like him, but his wife does not want to live here. So while having dinner, his wife says that she wants to sell all her land, and go to the city from here. But Wilfred does not want that. That's why their relationship starts getting sour gradually. And the situation comes to the point that Wilfred's wife says her husband, that, I want to divorce you, we will sell all the land to a company. We will divide the money into two halves. Wilfred gets stressed after hearing this, and asks his wife who will our son live with after the divorce? She says that I will take him to the city with me, so that I can give him a good future. Wilfred says that I need some time to think. He starts thinking about it every day. He does not want to lose his land and nor his son. That's why he decides to kill his wife. One day Wilfred sees that a girl who lives in his neighborhood, is his son's girlfriend, his son is coming down from the basement with the girl. He does not say anything to his son. But now he slowly starts instigating his son against his mother. He says that if your mother finds out about your girlfriend, she will separate you two forever. And I do not want that. I want you to get your love. I want you two to always be together. But your mother will soon sell this land and take you to the city from here. You will lose your girlfriend forever. I want to remove your mother from your way forever. He also agrees with his father somehow. Now Wilfred tells his wife that I have decided that I will sell this land. Hearing this, his wife becomes very happy, in excitement, she drinks a lot. After which his son also comes in front of her, she says that I know everything about your girlfriend. And she starts saying rubbish about his girlfriend. His son leaves there getting angry. Wilfred's wife is too much drunk, that's why he takes her to her room. He decides that he will kill her tonight. Friends, this is where a greed leads a person, and in another story, this girl put a gun on her husband's temple for millions dollar and ask him not to give up. When husband ends up with the challenge of five million dollars and refuse to continue, but wife doesn't want to alter the prize money. We have explained this thrilling story named, The Immaculate Room. Video is available on the i button and at the end of the video. Back to the story, he goes to his son who is very angry, and convinces him that we have to kill your mother tonight. His son gets in the trap and kill his mother helping his father, after which they throw her body in their own well. Wilfred comes in the room and removes all the evidences. The next morning he packs all his wife's clothes and important things in a bag, and he goes to throw that bag in the well, so that everyone feels that she has left the house. But when he looks inside the well, he sees a lot of rats there. He gets scared to see them, because today he has seen rats in the well for the first time. He throws the suitcase there and closes the lid of the well. The next day the lawyer of that company comes here, whom Wilfred's wife promised to sell the land to this company. The lawyer says that I want to meet your wife. Wilfred says that she has left the house. Actually Wilfred creates a whole story here, according to which he and his wife were not in good terms. That's why, his wife left the house in the dark of the night. The lawyer says that I want to check your house, but Wilfred clearly refuses. He also threatens him that if you do this, it will not be good for you. The lawyer says that, I will see you. Saying this, he leaves from there. But now Wilfred's worries increase, because he knows that the lawyer will now bring the police here. That's why he throws a cow in the well, after which the well is filled with the soil. He has made a story according to which his cow fell in the well, after which he filled the well with soil. The next day the police officer comes here, before the police officer asks him anything. Wilfred says that my cow fell in the well, because of which I had to close my well. That's why I am very worried. The police officer has no interest in this story, but he believes him, and now he asks him about his wife. Wilfred says that we were not in good terms. That's why she quietly left the house in the dark of the night. His son also agrees with his father. Both of them are very normal. That's why the police officer doesn't doubt them. After this, the police officer goes to search the house, where he sees Wilfred's wife's heels under the bed. Wilfred says that maybe she left home wearing her other shoes. The police officer believes him and leaves there. Sleeping at night, Wilfred hears the sound of the cow screaming loudly. And when he goes there, he sees a rat there, which goes inside the same pipe, which is connected to the well. He seals that pipe. He comes back to his room, he sees that his wife's ghost is standing in front of him. He switch on the light there, 
he finds his son standing there. Actually, his son also woke up with that strange sound. The next morning Wilfred's son comes to him and says that my girlfriend is pregnant. I want to marry her for which I need money. But Wilfred clearly refuses. He says that I can't help you with any money right now because I don't have money. And anyway, you are not in age to marry yet. You will have to wait at least till the age of 25. Wilfred's son gets disappointed hearing this and says that if mom was there, she would have helped me. We should sell the land. The argument between Wilfred and his son begins. Wilfred's son leaves from there. After a while, his girlfriend's father comes to Wilfred and tells Wilfred that whatever my daughter is going through today, it's all because of your son. I am sending her to the city for four months, for which there will be an expense of $300. When she will give birth to a child in the city, then it will be given to someone for adoption. $150 out of $300 comes in your share, but I know that you don't have much money. That's why you will have to give $75, but Wilfred doesn't have $75 even. And his girlfriend's father says that you don't have to give $75, even if you mortgage your land for it. And now Wilfred goes to the bank the next day, where he is told that in return for his land, he will be given $750. Wilfred is still confused. He says that I will discuss this with my son. And when he comes out, he sees that his car is not there. His son has left a letter for him there, in which it is written that I am going from here with my girlfriend. And if you try to find us, or if you complain to the police, then I will tell the police everything about mom's murder. Now Wilfred is completely alone. He gets strange visions again and again. He also sees that blood is dripping from the roof. Actually, it is the water that he is now seeing blood. He doesn't even have money left. That's why he decides to take a $750 loan from the bank. He wants to repair his house with that money. Because his house is in a very bad condition. He comes home with money from the bank, and then a rat bites his hand, because of which blood gets stuck in the money. Wilfred is completely frustrated, because he lost his whole family, and now he has also taken a loan. The rat had bitten his hand, that's why he ties a bandage on his hand. He drinks alcohol to forget the pain of his heart and hand. A few days pass like this, and the infection of his hand begins to increase, and now the winters have also started. It is snowing outside, and he tries to get out of there in the same snowstorm, so that he can go to the doctor, but his car doesn't start, because of which he has to come inside the house again. He has a lot of pain in his hand, that's why he drinks more alcohol, and then he looks out the door, where his wife's soul is there. Now he often sees her. He goes down to the basement in fear of her, where his wife's soul comes behind him. There are a lot of rats with his wife's soul. Now Wilfred, who is tired of his life, he tells his wife's soul to kill me. But she comes to him, and tells that our son is no longer in this world. After leaving here, his money ran out, because of which he started robbing people. Soon he became famous, and his name was kept as Sweetheart Bandits, because his girlfriend also used to support him. And one day when he was robbing someone, the owner of the house shot our son's girlfriend, and she died. Our son could not bear this trauma, he is also no longer in this world. That means Wilfred has lost his entire family. After hearing all this, Wilfred becomes unconscious, and when he comes to his senses, he is in the police officer's car, which takes him to the hospital. His hand is cut in the hospital, because the infection had spread too much in him. After a while, the police officer comes to him, and tells that a day before, we have found a dead body of a lady, which was robbed and killed by some robbers. Her whole face was bad, but she was like your wife. That means your wife is no longer in this world. And I came to your house to tell you the same thing. We have shut your wife's case. That means he will never be punished for his wife's murder. Also, the thing that his wife's soul said, that our son is dead, is true. His son's body is handed over to him. He had seen this in many news, which he later visualized in his own way. Wilfred does his son's funeral, after which he goes to his son's girlfriend's father, and says that I want to sell my land for $500, but he drives him away from there because his son's death is the reason for his daughter's death. Wilfred comes to his house after this, where he sees rats everywhere. Since his wife's death, he has been seeing rats. Only he sees these rats, because he sees his guilt and his crime, as rats, which never leave him. And because he had taken a loan of $750 from the bank, which he could not repay. That's why his house is auctioned. And this is how he loses his land and his house. Wilfred has lost his wife, his son, his land, and his house. He has no place to live here. That's why he comes to the city. Here he starts doing small jobs. But still his guilt is with him. He considers himself a criminal. That's why he sees rats everywhere. He starts drinking a lot, and whenever he is in a little bit of a state of mind, he goes to the people whose family members his son had robbed. He apologizes to all of them. Many years go by like this. The story comes back to the present, where he is writing a confession letter. In this letter, he writes all his sins, how he killed his wife, although his wife's case has been closed, but he knows that he is a real criminal. That's why he starts seeing a lot of rats in his room. He starts seeing his wife everywhere, his son and his son's girlfriend's ghost also comes in front of him, 
they are all looking at him, and his son says that now your end has come, maybe this is Wilfred's self-consciousness, which is telling him that the end of your life has come, the crime you committed, they will not let you live, and with this, this film, this story ends here, this story teaches us that if a person has committed a crime, although the world does not know about it, but that crime never lets him live, it always stays with the person, just like stayed with Wilfred, and became the reason for his end, we hope you like this story, tell us in the comment section about what you learned from the story,